Hey sis, welcome back to my channel. So I know you guys have been waiting on this video and I finally got around to do it. I was gonna put it off a little longer because I had another product I wanted to try, but we're not gonna wait any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I did to get my skin to look the way it looks now. I know right now on the camera it looks kind of weird because I'm darker down here I'm I'm one tone it looks like that because of the light I have a new light um, and the light has flaps around it well the bottom flap is kind of blocking the light that touches the bottom part of my face I noticed it when I um, set everything up but I didn't realize what why it was doing it until I kind of moved the flap around and it made it dark so kind of look over that and we're gonna get right, right into this video um, and I'll probably end up taking the flap off if I can. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But anyways, so I'm going to show you guys the products that I have been using to get my skin here. Keep in mind, I have two different skincare routines. I have a nighttime skincare routine. And if I'm blinking a lot, it's because my eyes are really dry. <laughs> but um, like I said, I have two different skincare routines. I have a nighttime skincare routine that I have already put on my channel I've showed you guys that routine before already so if you um, I'll just tag it up here somewhere so that you guys can see it or you can look on my clip videos and it'll be one of my videos but it's um, it's my acne routine I do have I started suffering from adult acne maybe six or seven years ago and I, I got it under control because of that routine so the products that helped my acne are in that video but I added two products to that routine that also like got my acne under control because if you're like me everybody has been going through this whole issue breaking out because of the mask I've had breakouts throughout this time because of the mask mainly under my chin area I'm darker under here I don't know if you can see it and it's because I have spots under there because of the mask well, I couldn't really control the breakouts because we were still having to wear the mask. So I was like going crazy because it was getting worse. They were getting bigger. They were getting scarring worse and everything. So I was like, I've got to find something to help me stop these breakouts because my skin was fine. Like my acne medicine was working to control my acne in my face, but it's like it couldn't keep up with the breakouts because of the mask constantly rubbing under my chin. And wearing the mask was making my skin really dry from it. Even though I moisturize every day, it's sitting there. It's making my skin crazy. So I was, I'm really particular about my skin. So I was going insane with all those breakouts. So the two products that I added to, like, like I said, watch that video to see what I use to like control my acne. But these two products right here, I added to the routine to control the mask breakouts and to give like a different look to my skin. Um, the first product is plain old tea tree oil. I have the Spring Valley kind, looks like this. And I get it from uh, Walmart. It comes from Walmart, I don't dilute it or anything. <laughs> I know they say you're supposed to dilute it with some kind of carrier oil or something like that, but I do not dilute it. I just take it out of the bottle and I, I use these little cotton pads. I have the, the kind with the smooth side and the kind with the rough side. I actually use the rough side. It's not hard or anything, but this is the side I use. So I take it out of the bottle, sprinkle it on the rough side. After, this is after I have gotten out of the shower and you know what, let me back up. After I get out of the shower and do everything, I let my skin air dry. Then, the next thing that I use once I get out of the shower is a toner. You guys will see in my new routine that a lot of my new products are from this brand called La Roche-Posay. La Roche-Posay, La Roche-Posay, whatever it's called. 
this is what it looks like. So this is the toner that I use. It's um, a medicated formula clarifying solution. Targets clogged pores and smooth skin's texture. It has 0.5 salicylic acid, acne medication, and 2% glycolic acid in it. So it looks like this again. Like that. And you can find this. I'm going to tell you guys this before I forget. You can get this at Ulta. And I saw yesterday that Target also carries it. And Target has some of the things that Ulta doesn't have. And Ulta has some of the things that Target doesn't have. But here they're right next door to each other. So And their prices are the same. You guys, these products have changed my skin. I don't know if you can tell, but look at it. They are they're not really they're not expensive compared to a lot of the products that I have to get from the dermatologist like this was I think this one was $19.99 $14.99 or $19.99 something like that but after I get out of the shower using my acne products I come right over here after my skin has air dried I put this toner also on the pad on that side and I use it to tone my skin okay and then after I do that and let your skin dry, <laughs> let your skin dry because I have a tendency to do all of these things back to back to back and then my skin is on fire. You can't see that it's flamed, but it is, it has a burn to it. But I do that and then I take the, what is one there? I take the, yeah, the tree, um, the tea tree oil. I take that next put it on the same side of it's a different pad I always have two out when I um, do my skin so I take a new pad put that on there and I only put this tree um, I keep wanting to say tree hut I only put this tea tree oil on the spots that I break out from the mask so I'll take it and I will rub it around my chin area just here just in this area okay under here, I get it real good, throw it in the trash. I was also getting like little, there were little tiny bumps underneath my chin. You couldn't really see them. Like I could see them if I got really close to the mirror, but you couldn't see them if you weren't really close to the mirror. Those little bumps, it's like they just kept multiplying. It. I kept getting them under here. So my texture was, I was also getting texture from wearing the mask. This tree, uh, <laughs> this tea tree oil, has I may have five and I think I had like 30 of them things under there they were insane like I said they were growing having babies and everything but I with using that it has gotten rid of so much of the texture that I was getting down there so I kept using it and I still don't dilute it I just use it right out of the bottle or whatever and we all know this is really cheap it may be three or four dollars or something like that but that's what I use so I only put that down here like I said and then the next thing that I put is this CeraVe it's this CeraVe resurfacing retinol serum so I take this retinol serum and I pump it out it comes with a little pump and you do not need a lot so I'll pump it out I'll I actually pump it on my face so I'll pump there I'll pump a little there a little there and a little on my chin and I take it and I rub it evenly all across my skin to um, to make sure that it touches every spot in my skin and I'm gonna read you the back of it um, it says that it gently even skin tone helping to fade the appearance of post acne marks and pores for a refined complexion while helping to restore the protective skin barrier. It works. I have already, <laughs> it's funny, I know you guys that watch my videos like really take my opinions on products serious and I love you guys for that and it shows because when I go to buy things they are gone <laughs> so it's like are you guys, I just realized I didn't put nothing on my lips, they is dry. <laughs> but anyway, I, um, and you guys have been buying this stuff. So I'm not going to come on here and tell you guys to go buy something that I do not absolutely love. And I'm telling you guys, I love these two. I have already went to the store and bought my backups. Just in case you guys decide you want to try it, I won't be left without it and having to wait and order. So I already have extras in my makeup room. So we covered. <laughs> 
<laughs> but that's how much I love them because I noticed I've been using it now for about maybe five or six weeks and I wanted to use it for a little while to see how if I would have any reactions or if it would even work on my skin and these things in combination have worked. I know it's a lot, but it's literally just a nighttime skincare routine and a daytime, daytime skincare routine when you look at it. So that's all that I use for nighttime. Then I moisturize and keep it moving. Some nights I moisturize, only some nights I don't, but moisturize. And what I do like to use now for a moisturizer at night is vitamin C serum. And this is the one that I use. And it's Eva Natural Skin Care Skin Clearing Serum and Vitamin C. And it has vitamin C, salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, retinol. It has almost it's, it's crazy, it has almost everything that these products have in it in this vitamin T. See, I hope this stuff is reading the right way and not backwards to you guys because I'm excited. That I actually, I have a new camera. I don't know if I told you guys that. I don't remember. I have a new camera. I have a new light. <sighs> Your girl is legit over here. Okay. I think I did tell y'all that because I used it to vlog. But that's how you notice that my stuff zooms in now. And it's not all blurry and crazy. But I'm just hoping it's not backwards. Because then it would mean I would have to go reset it. I don't know. Anyways. So, <laughs> the next thing. So, those are the things that I have added to my nighttime routine. So, in the morning time, I, I'm going to actually do my routine so that you guys can see what I use in the morning. So, yeah. In the morning time, I use this La Roche-Posay. This is what I use in the morning from them. It's a hydrate, and like I said, I was noticing that my skin was getting dry from the mask. So this is a hydrating cleanser, hydrating gentle cleanser for normal to dry skin. So I got my morning time routine to combat my dryness. I wanted my nighttime routine to work on my acne and my morning time routine to work on my dryness and the texture and appearance of my skin. So they're doing two different things and they're both doing exactly what I needed them to do. So like I said, this is the little Rose Pose and the dry. And we're just gonna go into this video and I'll show you guys what I use while I'm doing it. And I start this, um, my hands, dampen my hands on my face to dry. And we're just gonna go right into the routine. And it's here how crazy my hair looks. I am actually, after this video, I'm going to take my hair down because I have a hair appointment in the morning. So, I really didn't care how it looked in this video because it's coming down. Okay. So, make sure you clean all of that off. So once my face is dry, I go in. Also, th these are the products that I use in the morning time. I don't use the tree hut. <laughs> I don't use the tea tree. So I'll go in with my toner from La Roche-Posay and 
I will take it and wipe my whole face. Okay, so in the morning time, I cleanse, I tone, and I moisturize. That's really all I do in the morning because the other things that I needed to help with texture and stuff, I added those to my nighttime routine. So in the morning time, I do those two cleansers and toners, and then I moisturize with, right now I am, well, for since last year, I have been using this Andrell's. Andrell's Underglow for face and body. I only use it. It's not a big container. So, as you can let's see. I only use it for my face. And it's really creamy. And I take some on the tip of my finger. And this is what I use as a moisturizer. It is so good. It's almost like every time I try to use something else, I still end up back with this. Because I also have... The CeraVe moisturizing cream, but I like the way the combination of the things that I use now leaves my skin with kind of like a glow. It's not like a I don't look oily, but it has like a a glow to it without being oily. It's super smooth. My skin texture has changed so much. It's so smooth. The little bumps that I had, you couldn't really see, but you could feel gone. It's crazy. So the next thing that I, okay, I do want to tell you, I added this. I actually just bought this yesterday, and I was going to add this to my face because I have to use two moisturizers. I've noticed that. Even as moisturizing as that one is, I still feel better when I use two. So I bought this La Roche Rose. It's a double repair face moisturizer. I'm going to use this in my routine starting tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know later how um, that turns out. But the next thing I use is, because I want to try that out before I tell you guys to go buy it. I haven't used that one yet, but I did get that one. The next thing I add is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Dew Drops. So, and it looks like this, and it smells exactly like watermelon. I'll take that, and I'll put that on my skin. And look how smooth, like it's literally gliding, just like it looks like it's doing on camera, but... And look at my skin. This flap is driving me crazy. I should have taken that off. But. So. And they were like, oh, well, does it feel greasy? Does it? Nope. It does not. It feels so smooth. And I like the fact that it doesn't go away immediately. Like, if I didn't have to wear that mask, this would literally last me all day long because you can still see it on my forehead throughout the day, but the mask kind of wipes it away. But, so yeah. This, um, I get the watermelon drops from, you can get them from Sephora or in the store or Sephora online, whichever one. But that's where I get those from. All the La Roche-Posay products, I got mine from Ulta, but they do, like I said, sell them in Target. Um, and the CeraVe Retinol, I got that from Ulta also. I'll list the stuff below for you guys to see where I got everything from. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I let me know if you guys are going to try some of these products out and how they work for you because 
they have really changed my skin so much that's why I was so excited to come and show you guys um, the products that I have on this video but thank you guys for supporting my channel I finally reached 600 subscribers I'm a little bit over 600 now but I love all of the I'm appreciative of all of the love you guys have been showing me on my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell on so you do not miss videos like this let me know in the comments what you think about the products and if you're going to try something and i will see you guys in my next video bye